Okay, I've had a look at my warriors who are back there, and now I'm going to be looking at Scarab Swarms. Uh, I've got just a few of them out here. As you can see, they've been done up in bolt gun metal with goblin green eyes, which I didn't do the gem effect on because they're pretty round anyway. And they've all got grass bases, and some of them have even got grass on them, like that one there. Um, but here they basically are. And I wanted to go over some of the tactics that I use them for. Um, I'm only really going to be talking about a couple here. Yeah, I'm going to talk about my main one in uh, in another video. So, to start off, we've got um, 15 warriors back there. And um, we've got a load of scarabs here. And this is going to be partly through the game. The warriors are stranded. And they've got no one else around them. Pretend those scarabs are there. And they, they pretend they're in the middle of nowhere, and they're trying to protect this one objective here, which is a bit of a broken necron. Now, um, if, say, a close combat unit such as my striking scorpions up here, we'll put a model down here to represent a whole unit. So there's a whole unit of striking scorpions coming at the warriors. Uh, you can do a variety of strategies. You could um, say these scarabs were over here, or a lot, if they were more than 12 inches away, you could turbo boost them here. That's going to start by giving them a 2 plus cover save because they're swarm bases and they have their extra roll in the codex. But they're also going to be providing the warriors back there with cover because um, they're not uh, an Eldar unit and they're tall enough to provide some cover. Um, also, if uh, if you're scared you're going to be assaulted, you can use the scarabs as um, <clears throat> as a source of extra wounds. So if they were within, um, if they were close enough, you could have them coming in like from the side and then assaulting six inches into combat and just sort of surrounding the uh, units. So if you could have the striking scorpions fighting against the, the scarab swarms. Um, but really uh, it's probably preferable if you just surround them instead of actually assaulting. Because that means that the uh, striking scorpions aren't going to be able to move through them obviously. So they'll have, to be, they'll have to go around them which will mean that they can't enter close combat with the um, Eldar warriors back there. Mainly because... Uh, they're not fleet of foot. And those are really things like strength scorpions and uh, I don't really know many other units that are going to be damaging warriors in close combat unless you're playing another Necron player. But uh, that's the sort of tactic you can use for scrap swarms. And I'll do a little close up of this one here. This is what they look like at the moment. Uh, we're said we're being told that we're going to get an update. Uh, not sure if it's going to be on an update on scarabs, but um, apparently the new codex is going to have new rules for the scarabs and the warriors. So the warriors may you may be seeing a lot less of them uh, because apparently the point cost might go down and immortals might go down too. So the immortals might become your basic troop choice. We could just have loads and loads of warriors. I like call those. Um, and it was just uh, this was just a quick look at my scarab swaps. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, post them below, and please subscribe.